Yo, what's up guys? Back again with another video. Yes, I'm doing unboxings all this week, I think. So, without further ado, let's get into this. I will unbox yet another truck. Ooh, kind of a big box, huh? That's all right. That's what happens. Yep, it's armor truck. I'm kind of excited about this. I'm not the only one that has recently done a video about this. Phil, you know, our guy over at Four Boys RC. And who else did I see put this out on a video recently? RC driver online, maybe? He's a good channel if you haven't uh, checked him out yet. Or Exo Cage RC. Might have been him. But anyways, uh, yeah. This is what I got. Yo, yo, yo. Let's go. Brand new out of the box. If I can get it out of the box. Shoo. Go outside for now. So I think that's the back side. Y'all probably see it upside down. Alright. Yeah. The side that no one ever sees because it's up against the shelf. And well. Red on that one side. They got green pictures on the top. Red on the right, green on the left. It looks like it only comes in those two colors. And that's about as much as I can really put in the frame. So, sorry fellas. Oh, that was kind of a cool sound. I don't know if y'all were able to hear that. But yeah, this is dope. This is just very similar to a matte slash but yeah it looks just the body is better i think you know this is a nice looking car really what's going on here is it stuck no, i think it's stuck or is it i don't know it don't want to come up off the bottom there's something holding it there. Mm, there is another insert. All right, let's just take out the receiver. Maybe that's my problem. I need to go through the process. And the receiver we got is an SLT3 standard ARMA equipment. Not complaining. One iota. Um, yeah, we got standard, uh, Arma new car package, nothing else in that insert there. Um, now I should be able to pull the truck out because it is attached. Right, let's just take that and look at that. This is what we got. Oh yeah, we got three zip ties. Flush cuts. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that uh, case knife I had in my hand. Like, don't get me wrong, it's sharp. And I could certainly cut these uh, cable ties. That's right. I used a different uh, descriptive word there for the same thing. Because it's zip ties in America and cable ties in Europe, as far as I know. That is glued on. We got a second one. I'm just going to toss that in the lid. And we are free. One of 
and plastic things. That back up. That's reverse ASMR, is when you put it back on. It should be much better than this. This is somebody being lazy. Oh, here, I only need a three foot strip in here. Why not care? All right, that's a little better. Why did I do that? What's the point, right? This is already off, that's why. All right, so we have the Arma Mojave 6S power system in this truck. So yeah, it's a big short course truck and it feels kind of heavy, you know? It's, it's no, you know, uh, Creighton or anything else, but... Man, look at that. Why does it got red parts? It's got a green body with very little red on it. And it's got red extras on it. Red shocks, red center brace. You know, I'm, I'm not really complaining, but it doesn't match. You know, the, the subtle hint of red in the body does not warrant the red parts underneath. And I do like the body, it's pretty nice. Not real big on the dudes that are in it though. Oh, it's got Velcro on the sides. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's sticky, that means it came off. Oh. Yep, nice to have Velcro, but so long as it was installed correctly, it was not. All right, that's a gripe I can legitimately uh, have. So I will stick this back on. Right. Yeah, I had Air Force check that thing and look at the other side and make sure that it's going to be similar. All right. We said about three seconds worth of four seconds, five seconds worth of uh, a little bit of TLC. And that's it. That's all I got again. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a three. Actually, it's probably good for two to six S. I don't know if even two S would push this. Three S would push this. What is it? Uh, 20, 50 KV. Yeah, 3S would push this. It'd be slow, but it'd push it. Uh, yeah, Spectrum Servo, Spectrum Motor. Not looking bad. One a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think I need to get another one of those power systems for another one of my trucks. So this has holes for fans for the motor. So I'm gonna take that as a hint that I should probably go get those. I'll get two of them or, you know, some sort of dual combo. Is there space for it, you know? I've got, um, yeah, it could be a, a, a dual fan that covers the whole length or it could be just a single fan. So long as it's high powered enough, um, Rob Schifrin, uh, uses this super cool and, and not really meaning the pun, but I mean, like, this is what it is. It's a super cool, tiny little fan. It's, I don't know, must be like 30, 29, 30 millimeters, uh, square and it would drop right on there. And it's like having your own little AC unit in your, uh, RC car and, uh, it's supposed to be the thing for cooling your motors down. Um, yeah, I wish I could say link in the description below, but uh, I'm not that tech savvy. So yeah, just do a search on Roz Schifrin and watch some of his videos. He's very knowledgeable. You should probably subscribe. Uh, I would recommend that. What else we got going on here? What is this? Is this just a, just a support? Yeah, I got couple of pins, no, it's still there. Did 
pull it out this way? Yeah, interesting. Yeah, like, what's this for? What purpose does this serve other than to support the body? You know, we got uh, two retaining pins, right? Body pins. Two regular pins have, you know, holes in it. And then you have this support structure that drops in. And you're like, well, what's the point? Like, I probably lightened this by like two or three ounces by removing that. Not like it's going to mean that much speed difference, but why? You know, does it, does it what? Support, hold hold the, the center support? Like, don't get me wrong, I see it flex there. But yeah, I... Fat fucking area for, for the battery pack. Um, oh, look at that. It, that's cool, right? Right? That's cool. I'm going to take this shit out. Yeah, what the hell is this on here? What's that? Is this just like an extra pin holder or something? Yeah, I guess so. For what, battery tie down? I don't know. Like, there's so much that this vehicle has for potential. Like, I love it the way it is. Like, whew, these tires feel great. Like, like, they're hard, but they're not hard. They're soft, but they're not, not soft. You know? They're squishy a little bit, but, you know, it's a really good in-between. Like, this is a serious short course truck. 6S. The chassis is a little big for my liking, but this thing will just rip, guaranteed. Yeah, I'll I'll put my uh, 4S 10,000 milliamp battery in here just to test it out for a, its first run and skip 3S because I know that 3S is it. It's barely gonna do anything. 4S with them 10,000 milliamps behind it might do a little something. Uh, I think they're 100 or 120 C discharge. So, should be punchy with it in here. I'll take it. The uh, shocks are great. Granted, they don't have the body on, no battery. But, yeah, nice, soft, spongy, quality control past. Yeah, it's great. It's just what I wanted. I'm glad I got this one. You guys will get to see a, a rip video. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to take every single car I own that runs at the time, which should be all of them with that video. I'll take them all out, and I will do a speed run for every one of them back to back. You know, I'll run the... GSS battery out if I can, you know, it seems to be kind of finicky, you know, the thing's about the size of, I don't know, it's like a squashed golf ball at best. Yeah, really weird. Was it like this? Or was it like this? I don't know. I don't remember. Very strange. Uh, it kind of makes me wonder, wonder what this is really for. That's some sort of little flange. Chamfer. Camfer. Towards uh, the top of that bolt there. I must have put it on backwards. Yeah, I am notorious for putting things on backwards, but then once I figure out like how it goes on, then I'm good. Right? 
Now I have a little bit of dyslexia, but the uh, funny thing is, is like, I build nice cars. You know, I might get something backwards, but uh, I don't turn my work out to anybody until I know it works. Especially with these RC cars. Like, no, yeah, like I'm going to send out a uh, RC car that's got its motor uh, spin in the wrong direction so it drives in reverse for forwards. Yeah, right. Man. That little thing. Hey, look at that. Nice little magnet trick. Yeah, I don't even know what this little plastic thing is for. It must support the body. That's my only thought. Man, that's really kind of rude to put back in. This easy to remove. Well, that's why I didn't put it back in at an angle. So, these little pins got to go in at a, I don't know, it looks like it's about a, no, is it horizontal? No, there's a slight angle to them, but it's close to like 90, probably more like 15 degrees as far as how it actually is. You know, that's way more than that. Yeah, it's definitely, like, at a downward, like, might be, like, at 45 for all I know. I don't know. But the holes are at an angle for putting these pins in, you know. Kind of kind of weird, but it is a convenient angle, I guess. I don't know. It's not a guess. It, it, it's convenient enough, but I don't know that I like it. Yeah. Seeing this in place says, hey, try it out on uh, 3S first. Yeah, I bet you it is great on 3 and 4, it's probably just there. Like, I bet you 4 is like a really great butter zone for it. And then 6 is like, you're trying to like do some speed runs or you really have an understanding and uh, of your uh, your car and have it dialed. Because if that's the case, I mean, like 6S is such a great power system. Um, this is a little large. Uh, I think that 110 is so much better for a 6S power system. Uh, as far as like just, you know, bashing and ripping around and like, yeah, success is where it's at, boy. Uh, this is the success system, and the truck is appropriate. It seems like it's a little bit bigger than it should be for the power system, but you put a nice nice battery or two two smaller batteries on this side, that should equal all, about all this weight here, and that'll fill out the truck fairly well. Should rip. Really should rip. Uh, I can gear it up quite a bit. Uh, I might be able to increase this tooth count by double. Looks like it's got a uh, 15 or 16, 17 tooth maybe. I'm not exactly counting. I can't quite see in there. Uh, probably a 17 or lower, I would think. I don't know, a couple of my other trucks run on the 17 and they're just demons when they run around. 17, 18, uh, it's two of my my slashes run just excellent with a uh, 17 pinion in it or a 16. Just depends, I mean, like there's there's a, that one tooth variance of like, it's a preference thing. Uh, this looks very comparable. Might be an 18 tooth for all I know. Uh, yeah, center diff. This thing just is going to be absolutely a blast to run for the first time. Yeah. Lo love the bumpers. Like, they're just on point. Oh, that's actually got rubber on it. Uh, must be thinking about mud. 
But the, the substantial part of the bumper is plastic, you know, metal screws, hexes. Uh, yeah, body mounts, so it looks like they're good and nice and give a little bit, flexible. Everything that needs to be hard is hard. Everything that needs to be soft needs to be soft, you know? Uh, I really can't ask for much more. Like, I haven't seen this steer real well, so, but that would be one of the first things that I would probably change out. Put a, a servo that's capable of 8.4 volts and the fans. I mean, what else could I really try to do to like, give it just a little oof? For my first run, those would be the things. Uh, 17 mil hex is on the outside. That's not bad. By all rights, that mean gives you so many more options on what you can do with this truck. Uh, yeah, seriously, you could put like you have to take the bumpers off, I think, or at least the front bumper, and you can put some fat, fat, wide wide uh you know tires that would go on like an eight scale or bigger you know M maybe well th is this is this eight scale no this is eight, eight this is like seven i don't know it, it'll take much bigger tires because it's got the 17 mil hex you know i might just do that take the front bumper off and then put some big fat tires on this and drop an 8 system in it and then, uh, yeah, roll it out. It'll be just screaming. And I have uh, all of that. But the only thing I don't really have is maybe the best motor for this. So this is a 2050. I have a 1900 Hobby Wing. And then I have an, a Mama X. What is it again? Mama X? Mama Monster X AS. So I have that as an ESC, and I know that I could probably pull that off. I don't know how well it would work, because it's not a, you know, it's a Castle ESC, more or less, and a, and a Hobby Wing motor. But I'm pretty sure the sensor wire is the same. I don't even know if I want to try it, but if I'm going to change the power system out, it's going to be an ADS power system. Or I'll get something that will do 8S and be able to go to 12. And, um, I don't know, run two, you know, fat, short, fat 6S packs on that one side. And, yeah, have a fat can motor on the other side. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to, like, well, thankfully it's dog bones, which means I can get longer ones. I'll be able to do an offset as much as 20 millimeters. Which means that center brace going to change. Because all the rest of that, who knows. Maybe I just change out that center diff for a diff locker and a 39 tooth. Uh, for the spur and then run, I don't know, maybe a 26 tooth pinion. Uh, I should be able to do that. There might be enough room for that. I think I can cram a, a one of them seven. Was a seventeen seventeen castle motors? Or like I don't know how many kV. I want to say eleven hundred. I don't know. That, that's kind of what I'm thinking for what I can throw into this. Like, I'm not judging this truck. I'm just saying what I, I see its potential could be. This could just be the absolute monster 8 or 12S truck. I mean, like, the thing would probably just blow tires off of itself. You know, I'm going to build a great car, and this is a great car. Like... No joke. Yeah, I think I want to try a 39 diff locker. And 
maybe a lower KV motor. I don't know. If I'm not going to do a lower KV motor, I'm going to do a can motor in it. Yeah, 1100, 800, 560. I don't know. If it's 560, it would have just have so much torque. 1100 is pretty good for speed, you know. And I saw somebody that was running a 1650. And it was a can motor. Just absolutely monster thing. And then, like, that was, like, the highest KV I think I've ever seen in a can motor. If y'all got better can motors, like, you know what I'm talking about, like soda can, pop can, whatever you want to call it, soup can motors, you know, like Castle Creations ones that are absolutely fat. I mean, like, you know, for lack of a better example, how about beer can, you know? Yeah, one of them. If y'all know what model it is, or you guys can recommend a model, put that shit down in the comments. I have no problem listening to y'all. So I actually, I want to hear it, you know? I want to hear what you guys have to say. You know? So long as it's positive, you know? And about RC cars. So like, that's pretty much it. Those are my only things I'm going to, like, put onto that. Yeah. Y'all want to talk about positive things? I'm all over that. You want to talk about RC? Oh, pff, please. I got you all day. Well, at least until I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a really great truck. I like it. Let's throw the body back on so we can get another quick, quick look. Body has, uh, little dudes in it. Yeah, they have incorporated the scale details of the little dudes in there as part of the cage for the main part of the body, which is not bad. Because then it transfers all of that impact that could uh, happen somewhere onto the chassis. There we go. The mesh sounds nice. Look at them yeah, now, now the Velcro, like, killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Killing me. Sorry, that's what you call uh, RC benchtop rage. All right, I'm only gonna do one on kitty corner from each other because I'm just gonna throw this right on the shelf. And uh, yeah, I'll do another video for y'all uh, when I get around to doing some rip videos. Uh, hopefully you guys caught my speed run videos. I really uh, like doing uh, the speed run video with uh, my techno cars because they're tough cars, or at least the short cars truck is. It's really tough. Uh, the little uh, e-truggy, um, it's definitely a race car. It's very light, very fast. Uh, I actually ran that into my ankle and it broke on me. And yeah, and I was kind of surprised. It didn't really hurt, and it was going pretty fast. Like, I think it was going 31, as I recall. But anyways, this is the R Mojave 6S, and I'm ready to take this thing out for a rip. Uh, I need to do a comparison video between this and a Traxxas Max Slash, because they almost look... I don't want to say identical, but they're in the same class, you know? Um, honestly, the upgrades I make to my Max Slash, it'll probably destroy this uh, in some sort of performance, but this is a sick truck, and I don't know. I, I may be just talking out the side of my neck. Um, I have not run this. I've run the piss out of my Max Slash, and I got another Max Slash video coming for you guys when I when I get to it. You know, I got, oh, it must be 10, 12 build videos stacked up right now. Not to mention, I don't know, I'm almost done with unboxings. I think I only have two left. And then it's all kits after that. So, yeah, it should be good. So, that's it.
that's the new short course truck for the, the fleet. Sweet. Hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.